Hey, what's up guys? It's Don here and today I'll be showing you two walkarounds for NVIDIA share audio being out of sync without using Handbrake for Premiere Pro. Handbrake at the moment is the most popular walkaround for this issue. I personally dislike it because it's a waste of time re-encoding my video. It also triggers my OCD making me feel like it's not the same quality as the original one. Anyway, enough chit chat and let's get started with the video. The first method requires you to extract the audio from your video. In this case, I will be using the VLC player for this method. Now, a link will be in the description so you can go ahead and download that. And once you have it installed, just launch it and you're gonna want to go to the top left hand corner. Click on convert and save. On the file section, you're gonna go drag and drop your video into that location so here's my video i'm gonna go over here and drag it click on convert and save you want to go to the profile section and change this to audio mp3 go into file destination click on that and save it wherever you want and just name it i'm gonna name mine audio and i'm gonna save it to my desktop click save then click start depending on the length of your video will determine how long it takes to convert this for my video is uh, 20 minutes so it's going to take about a minute all right and it's done when it's done you won't see the blue bar at the bottom anymore once that is done just close it out and you're going to have your audio track in your desktop i actually have two monitors so that's why you don't see it but go ahead and open up premiere pro once you're done with that and you're going to drag your video clip and the audio uh, file in premiere pro after you open up a new project so let's open this up and this is on my other monitor so let's bring this over here so let's go ahead and drag this in Go get my recording right here. Close that out. So we're going to drag your video to the timeline and you're going to right click your video and hit unlink. This will unlink the video from the audio and we're going to right click or just click on the audio and delete it. Now we're going to drag in your other audio file that you brought in or that you extracted into the timeline. We're going to drag this to the bottom. And if you check at the end, your audio clip should be longer than your video file. That's perfectly fine. We're about to fix it because it's out of sync at the moment. So you're going to find a spot in your video where you're going to find a place where you could sync it absolutely perfectly. Now, I'm going to use where I get the Moab, which is right here. And if I play it right now, it's out of sync. You hear me, I think, shoot already when I'm not shooting. Actually, it's opposite. I'm shooting and there's no sound yet. So, we're gonna go over here to our stretch tool. You could just say R, but it's also located over here. And we're gonna click on our audio file at the end. And we're gonna bring it in towards the left, slowly. Come on. All right, there you go. And this will bring in the audio more in and you're gonna do this to the point where it sinks in so you want might do it slowly i accidentally did it a little bit too faster i can already hear the moab being called in so i'm gonna stretch that out a little bit more yeah so i'm gonna bring it out a little bit more All right, there you go. So let's just start out right there. So now it's shooting before I'm actually shooting. So we're gonna stretch this out a little bit more, a little bit more, and there you go. This is where I start shooting. Actually, this is where I start shooting. So we're going to bring it back in and you kind of get the point. As you can see right there, it's synced. I get the Moab, I call it in, it starts beeping and everything's synced. And that's pretty much the first method. And this allows you to actually view your video and edit it perfectly. 
So uh, once you have everything synced up, you're gonna hold shift and you're gonna click on your video or audio, vice versa. Just make sure both are selected and we're gonna link them back together. So we're gonna right click and link. Now this allows you to move both tracks at the same time and they're linked together. So if they're not linked and you move your video, it will unsync again and you kind of get the point. So uh, that's the first method for this, uh, how to sync your audio. So let's get started with the second one. So let's close out of this and let's get started. All right, the second method is basically renaming the file format, but before you do this, you need to download and install QuickTime. A link will be in the description as well. The only con to this method is the video causes your video preview in Premiere Pro to lag. Like, uh, I'll show you in a bit, but it really lags where if you're gonna do some hardcore editing, that will be annoying, and that's a big con in this uh, method. And also, this is a 50-50 method. There's been a few people that say this does not work. So try it out. If it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. But this method is very easy. You don't have to do what we did in the other one where we just manually sync it in. And this one just automatically has you synced in. But have quick time installed. And you're going to go to your original footage and make a copy of it. And the reason I say that is because last time I did something like this and I, I didn't make a copy and I lost my footage. So we're gonna make a copy, copy it to your desktop, paste it. And once it's done, you're gonna right click, rename, you're gonna change mp4 to .dif and hit enter. You want to click yes now your video might look distorted in there but that doesn't matter because it's going into premiere pro so launch up premiere pro and gameplay minimize drag the file in there and drag into your timeline and you will see that everything is in sync already now the only issue like i said is going to cause a large amount of lag in this preview window right here. For example, this is where I get the Moab. It's gonna start start off smoothly, but it just is gonna start lagging and lagging like if you're dropping frames. So here you go. And there you go. It just starts lagging very, very awful, but the audio is 100% perfectly in sync. So, this is, I guess, sort of useful if you're doing minimal editing, uh, I guess transitions, stuff like that. But if you're going to do some hardcore editing, this will be a big con for you. You're going to have to keep pushing play, stop, play, stop, play, stop. So it doesn't lag that awful. But that's pretty much the second method. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope it helped you out so uh, like the video if you liked it dislike it if it didn't work for you and if you like to see more of my youtube content hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye